So I'm sitting here trying to pick out which jersey I'm going to wear for this Ravens and Dolphins game. Um, since Ravens, are they they here, they playing at the crib, at their crib, because they the Florida Ravens, because they got so much people from Florida. Um, so they playing down here in Miami, and I'm, I, my phone just start going off like crazy. And I'm like, uh, okay, like, I'm not expecting anything. Did Ravens make a roster move or something? I, I don't know. So then I look, and it says, oh. Odell Beckham Jr. is finalizing the deal with the L.A. Rams. And I'm like, well, I'll be. The rich get richer. These dudes literally just got Von Miller for super cheap, too. Would they trade, like, I think a third and a fourth round? Something crazy like that for Von Miller. And you already got Floyd, and you obviously already got Aaron Donald. And this dude done won Defensive Player of the Year. Like, he, he done won this award more times than just... I feel like he won it more times than, than years that he's been in the league. This dude, every year, defense player, defense player, defense player, defense. Anyway, so I'm like, these guys just did the Von Miller, and now they're getting Odell Beckham Jr. too? And I, I, I text my boy, who's a Rams fan. I said, man, I said, if I wasn't team, keep it clean. Ooh, I would let you have it. But let you have it. Because I don't like that. I mean, I'm happy for him, because that's my boy. That's just one of my best friends. But I was like, at the same time, I would, I would let you have it just because y'all got Odell Beckham Jr. And it's like the Rams, they, it's like they playing, with, they playing Madden or something. Because first, remember, this offseason, they loaded up. They, got, they brought Matthew Stafford. They were like, look, Matt, we, we, know, we, we see something in you. We know Detroit is Detroit and the Lions. They just, they going nowhere fast. Well, actually, they going nowhere slow because it, it's just, it's still the same stuff. And Matt Stafford is gone. But um, they're like, we, we see something in you. So they, they saved him from Detroit. And they said, come on, come on over. We know what you can do. Still had Cooper Cup. Still had Robert Woods. Still had Van Jefferson. Got Deshaun Jackson. And Matt Stafford, for the most part this year, he's been looking good. I mean, minus last week in that Titans game. The Titans defense was all over him. Oh, they abused him. But he's been looking pretty good. So, so they, they saved him and they, they loaded up like they always do. Even though they lost Josh Johnson, they lost uh, Ty Hill too to the Browns. But their, their defense has still been good. Of course, they got uh, Darius Williams, who just got back from uh, injury reserve. Um, oh, I cannot think of their other uh, cornerback who's a captain on their team, on their defense. And, of course, they got Jalen Ramsey. Um, ah, the guy who I'm trying to think of is just his, his name not coming to mind. But, anyway, the Rams, they they a pretty stacked team. Had Kenny Young earlier, but, you know, they, they, they traded him. Um, but, anyway, these, these Rams are like something serious. So then they, they mess around and add Odell Beckham Jr. too, and it's like, like what, what's that about? But then it was like, hold up. They said that Adam Schefter jumped the gun, and Odell Beckham Jr. had not made his decision yet. So it was like, man, all this, uh, all this craziness, all this, all, this just, all this wild stuff is going on. But now it's fine, because they said that Odell Beckham Jr. He was still deciding between uh, the Packers and the Rams. But, and we know we heard the, the story about, and that would be a nice little thing for Aaron Rodgers now, too. Have Devontae Adams, and then Odell Beckham Jr. That'd be nice. But I feel like um, if he were to go to the Packers, it'd be a tiny bit more pressure on him. A tiny bit. Because the Packers right now, they're doing all right. I mean, they're actually doing pretty good. Um, but I was going to say, they're doing all right without Odell Beckham Jr. But who is that clear-cut number two guy? Is it uh, Valdez Scalding? I know I probably said his last name wrong. Um, it's not Randall Cobb. Like, who, who is that number two guy? So I, you, if you pick up Odell, then that would be him. Or maybe like a 1A, 1B type of thing. So there's more pressure on him to deliver. But I feel like with the Rams, I feel like it's less pressure because they already have their clear-cut established 1A uh, and they, they have 1B. I feel like they got like a 1C too, but they got Cooper Cup. That's, that's their guy. Number one guy for sure, we already know. Then they got um, Robert Woods. Uh, then they got Van Jefferson. So if they go there like Odell Beckham Jr., he doesn't have to be the guy. He doesn't even have to be one of the top guys. Well, he'll be one of the top three guys, top three, top four, but he doesn't have to be the main guy. So he can go there. Like, it, it'll already be like, it, defenders already have enough trouble covering the Rams receivers as is. But now you add Odell Beckham Jr. to that, and it makes it that much tougher. That much tougher. So then, on top of that, um, with, with, with the whole Odell Beckham Jr. thing, when I was thinking, uh, 
Oh, yeah, I just got a reminder from my guy, DJ Bill. Uh, he just reminded me that my Ravens play the Rams later on this season, toward the end of the season. So <laughs> that should be a fun one. That should be a fun one. Anyway, um, we had heard the uh, that the Packers had offered Odell Beckham Jr. the vet minimum. And it was understood like, hey, if, if you're interested in somebody, but you're not really all the way interested, you gonna, you ain't going to give them your best shot. Nah, here, take this. If you're interested, cool, hit me back. If not, okay, it is what it is. And that's what the Packers did. They offered him the vet minimum, and apparently he was like, you can keep that vet minimum. I will go over here. And I know it, there's been, I, 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 and you never know how these players really feel about this stuff. I, I was just never a fan of these type of uh, reports and whatnot. But at the same time, you never know. Like, I've been hearing a lot that, oh, Odell Beckham Jr., he, uh, he wants to be a big star. He wants to go to a big city. He wants to go play where the lights shine the brightest. And I, like Skip Bayless, he would always talk. Skip Bayless, he's 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 really funny, man. Like he he it's like he started being he started he was like the first professional troll. Um, then a lot of other these analysts and whatnot they started doing the same thing too. But I feel like Skip Bayless was like the originator of that. But anyway, um, he would talk whenever he talks about Odell Beckham Jr. And his old departure from the Browns, he said, oh, yeah, he just, he will want to go to somewhere where the lights shine the brightest and he can be a big star. And he went from New York, the Big Apple, to where he could, he could do that. Then he went to Cleveland and he was probably like thinking, oh, no, Cleveland's not where I can do that at. But if, if it really did come down to his decision between the Packers and the L.A. Rams, if that is really how he thinks, I don't know. And like I said, I, I don't really like those reports like that. They're funny, but at the same time, you never know if it's true or not. Um, then that would be very interesting that he would choose L.A. over Green Bay because he would be able to do that in L.A. versus Green Bay. Now, um, Odell Beckham Jr. is, you got to commend him because he is the ultimate businessman. He knows the business of the NFL. He knows how it works. He knows the ins and outs of it. Reason being because timing is everything right before the trade deadline. Odell Beckham Jr., he probably heard all the rumors and stuff. He knew that teams were trying to trade for him. I know the Saints were one of the teams that tried to trade for him, and, he, and I'm sure he heard all of it. And he was like, man, Browns ain't making no moves. He said, mm, I got it. You know what? Dad, come here. Dad, l let, me, let me see your phone. L I, I, let me do something real quick. Took his dad's phone, and he's like, um... He probably screen recorded the, the YouTube video because, you know, he'd be on YouTube watching stuff. He screen recorded that YouTube video. Then he's like, you know what? No. Mm, let me screen record it sideways so people don't think that it's me and they think it's you, Dad. So let, let, let me see your phone again. So he screen recorded it, had it sideways like, like a dad would do who's out of touch with technology. And then he's like, uh, okay, all right, got it. All right, let me do some hashtags real quick. Okay, free OBJ. Okay, I love my son. Okay, we love Cleveland, uh, but I love my son more. Here, here you go, Dad. Post it. Uh, you know what? Let me add a few more hashtags. So he puts some more. All right, boom. Perfect. All right, Dad. Go ahead. Please go ahead and post it. And, you know, if respond to a couple of people. Respond to a couple of celebrities if they get on it. And then a couple of non-celebrities, too. Just respond to a couple of people so they know, like, this is real. And it's not a mistake or anything. It's just, I know you got me. So his dad did it. He did it. And then he started responding to a couple of people. And then Odell Beckham was like, mm, all right. I, the trade deadline is coming up in a couple of hours. I, I, need, I need more than this. Ah, you know what? I got it. Pick up his phone. Yo, LeBron. Hey, I need a favor from you, big dog. A little bit later, LeBron James. Free OBJ. Oh, man, I can't wait to see what, uh, what it looks like when he's on a team that can utilize his talents. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then he called a couple of his other friends, too, and they were doing the same thing all around Twitter. All these people talking about Odell Beckham Jr. Free Odell Beckham Jr. Let him go. Let him go. But the Browns were like, mm, no, nah, we're straight. We're good. So the trade deadline came and went. Odell Beckham Jr. is still a Brown. And Odell Beckham Jr. must have been thinking, man, it didn't work. <sighs> so the following day, gets ready to go practice. And he probably thinking, oh man, this could this could be really awkward. <laughs> I know I love my guys, but I just uh, this this thing just not working out. So he gets to practice. Kevin Stefanski, oh they're back in gym. Hey, come here real quick. Come here. Don't don't put don't don't put your helmet on. No, come here. What's up, Kev? Um, go home for the day. Go go home for the day. You don't practice today. Uh, okay. And he probably think, oh 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 okay. Yes, I did it. I did it. I did it. So he goes home, 
And Kevin Stefanski apparently tells the team, Odell Beckham Jr. is not a member of this roster anymore. He's not. And Odell Beckham Jr. probably caught wind of that on Twitter and was like, oh, yes, let's go. I can't like any tweets that say that, but I'm looking. So then the following day, all right, he's, let me go back to practice. Let me, all right, let's see what happens today. Uh, Odell, just go home. Go, go home. He's probably like, what? Oh, man, I'm so angry. I just really want to practice with these Browns to keep it going. All right, I'll, I'll go home, coach. Urgh. All the meanwhile, he's really laughing. He's smiling. He's like, hold up. Could this, like, really be it? So then it comes out uh, the next day. Oh, the Browns plan on releasing Odell Beckham Jr. He's like, yes, I did it. He was probably happier than Antonio Brown when he got released from the Raiders. Y'all remember when Antonio Brown had the video ready? He was like, hey, hey, y'all, I think this is going to be the call. And he told his boy to record him, and he started celebrating, jumping up and down, jumped in the pool, doing flips and all that. Oh, he was ha ha happy. And Odell Beckham Jr., you got to figure he was super happy too. And now he's an L.A. Ram. And, and again, the rich get richer. And it, it, it just always bugs me when, um, peep, when teams – they may have an area of weakness here. They may be struggling in a, in a certain department here. But if you have an opportunity to, to get richer in one area, why not take it? Why not take it? Why not go for it? Why not really try to, to just make it to where your team is just, ugh, especially if you can do that in a certain area. Now, of course, you want your team to be all around like that, but it just doesn't happen like that way. So why not make your team the strongest they could possibly be in that area? That's what the Rams doing at the receiver. They they a little banged up. They try to get Reynolds now. They try to bring back Josh Reynolds, but the Detroit Lions said, nope, nope, y'all got Matt Stafford. We're not letting you get Josh Reynolds. He's coming here. So, and Lions could have got Odell Beckham Jr. too, but the Lions were like, oh, no. We, mm. But that's, again, Odell Beckham Jr.'s business side because, remember, Odell Beckham Jr., he said, his camp said, oh, if Odell Beckham Jr. gets claimed by a bad team, it's going to be some problems. We all know what that meant. That meant just, he don't want to go to a bad team. He wants to go to a contender. That's all that that meant. That's it. If he would have went to a, to a bad team, would it have been problems? He could have just not shown up. I think he would have, but he, he could have just not shown up. But they would have still had his, his rights. Uh, and I hate that term. But they would have still had his rights. So, anyway, congrats to all the Rams fans. You get, you get Odell Beckham Jr. You just got Von Miller. Now you get Odell Beckham Jr. Enjoy your game of Madden. We out.